Hello. We are getting together here at the Hello. Webster County High School. Donna and I are here and uh, getting ready for our noon time of prayer. There goes the 12 o'clock alarm downtown there in Dixon. We always like to shout victory whenever victory. we hear that. That's our uh, that's our signal for victory every oh, yeah. uh, every day that that uh, that that sounds. But uh, this is day three and uh, of our prayer and the word dedication to uh, rededication, renewing our uh, our stand for righteousness. And uh, during the month of June, we are declaring month uh, June to be a month of prayer and renewed commitment to God's word and his righteousness. As we said yesterday, uh, Jesus said in Matthew 6, 33, that, um, that uh, seek first the command. The admonition was to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And what he was talking about was the things that the Gentiles seek after as believers. He says, you, you don't have to go seeking after those things. If you'll seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, choose to live righteously, then he said all these things would be added to you. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're gathered here today. Uh, for those that are joining us here, uh, if you would do us a favor and uh, make a comment. Uh, like, say something uh, that lets us know you're here. Plus, it also helps the uh, Facebook algorithm give us uh, more exposure. And uh, that would be greatly appreciated if you'd do that for us. But during this next uh, 15 to 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, we want to uh, we want to pray, want to share a word of admonition and encourage you today to know that still Jesus is Lord. Yes. And uh, he loves you. We love you. And we're praying for you. If you have any prayer requests, please leave those for us to uh, to catch up on. I haven't looked to see what uh, response we've had from our prayer request um, that we had post earlier today. Mm -hmm. We'll do that before we're done here uh, today. But uh, again, Proverbs 1434 says what, Donna? Righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. In the New Living Translation, it says godliness exalts a nation, mm -hmm. but sin is a disgrace to any people. Mm -hmm. Our theme this month is righteousness exalts a nation. And again, for those of you just joining us, we're here at the Webster County High School uh, representing uh, this would be representing the school system education for system. Uh, for Webster County, the educational system. And uh, yeah. our desire this month is to pray, to draw near to God with a fresh commitment to his word and righteousness. Amen. Today's scripture reading is uh, Proverbs 22, 6. And Donna, would you read that? Train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Amen. Amen. We want to see a, a restoration of the foundation of education. Uh, the uh, the adage was years ago, it says that uh, educational sister system was intended to teach what? The three R's. Anybody remember what that is? The three R's? Well, I was thinking writing, reading, and arithmetic. But exactly. That's not, exactly. But that's, that's exactly it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, as we know, reading, writing, and arithmetic. <laughs> Uh, it, it's just a play yeah. on words, obviously, but it's, yeah. it's, okay. uh, it's, it's the foundation. It's, it's, you know, uh, children need the basics of yeah. uh, education and that's where things have kind of, uh, gotten off track. Well, not kind of, yeah. but has gotten has off gotten track. Off. Yeah. There's a philosophy that has emerged many decades ago and per perhaps as far back as the founding of this nation. Uh, there's an agenda to, indoctrin to indoctrinate with communism, socialism, and secularism. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it has 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 been a these have been attempting to take control of the nation through the educational system. And I think we can see that today as 
uh, we've seen in school boards, parents deciding to stand up uh, for their children mm -hmm. and for their children's rights. Uh, it would seem that uh, developing, developing sensitivity to various life choices is as important today, if not more important than learning itself. Mm. The role of parents and religious preference has been diminished and sensitivity mm. has become a religion. You want uh -oh. to read that next uh -oh. part, Don? Yeah. Prayer in public schools was declared unconstitutional on June 25th of 1962. A year later, another ruling disallowed Bible reading in public schools as well. Personal Bible reading was not ruled unconstitutional. I want to make sure that this is clear. Personal Bible reading was not ruled unconstitutional, nor was it banned in any way. So Bible reading and prayer that is personal has not been banned or has not been frowned upon. Right. Uh, so yeah. though public prayer and reading was disallowed, a student may still pray and mm. read his or her Bible if they choose to do so. Amen. Yes. yes. So that's something that we need to make sure that our young people understand is that they still have uh, they still have the right to, to pray. Yeah. They still have the right to read their Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, they may not be able to stand in front of a, of a classroom and, and read it. Uh, there are exceptions for that I, uh, that we know of. I'm not going to get into that today. But uh, another scripture that I want to um, talk about this morning, uh, and of course the first scripture we talked about, for those of you just joining us, was Proverbs 22.6. What was that again, Donna? Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. And Proverbs 22, 6 says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Now, another scripture that comes to mind when we're talking about uh, education and learning is, uh, is Romans 12, 1 and 2. And I'm going to paraphrase this uh, so of what Paul said, but Paul admonishes the believer to present our bodies to God and to be transformed from a hedonistic, self-indulgent, societal thinker yeah. into a person who thinks and acts like Jesus. Yes. See, that's that's really the goal is, as a believer, we, we need to uh, think and act like Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, the, early, uh, the early apostles, the early believers in Antioch, they were called Christians because those, those believers did and acted like Jesus. Okay. So in okay. the beginning, the word Christian was not a it's not a flattering word. It was actually a negative word, had a negative connotation. They'd say, Oh, you're one of those Christians, which meant, oh, you acting like Jesus. Well, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Label me a Christian because yeah. I'm gonna do my very best to act and live and think like Jesus. Amen. And he says to uh, <clears throat> be ye holy for I am holy. So Amen. it's not a suggestion, but it's a command. That's right. To be That's holy right. as unto the Lord. That's right. It's not a, uh, these are not suggestions uh, where Paul says in Romans 12, he says, be not conformed to this world mm. or this age but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. See, that's what children, when they come to school, uh, mm -hmm. here's, here we are at Webster County High School in Webster County, Kentucky. And, you know, when, when children come in mm -hmm. at the grade school level and kindergarten, first grade, when they first come in, yeah. uh, you know, they hopefully they've had parents that have read to them and have, uh, you know, taken some time with their child to, uh, help them to learn before they even get in school. Reading to your child is a, is a wonderful thing to yeah. do. And actually teaching them to read, uh, you to read with them helps them to learn even quicker. So, um, you know, by the time they get to high school where we're standing, they've learned their three R's, right? What did we say they were? Reading, writing, writing, writing and arithmetic, arithmetic right? <laughs> well. <laughs> the three R's of education. Okay. Well, as yeah. we said, um, it seems that today developing a sensitivity toward various lifestyle choices has become as important, if not more important to people today 
as it is what they're actually learning. See, children come to school to learn the basics so that they can go on to higher education, yeah. so that they can go on to uh, uh, find a job in life and pro um, provide for their families, uh, buy a home, buy a car, uh, have a certain amount of independence. You know, uh, we, want, we want to teach our children to be independent. Well, when they come to school in the very beginning, they, they don't know a whole lot. And parents are probably not teaching, you know, the reading, writing, and arithmetic. More than likely not. But uh, if you do, your child's going to get a going to get a leg up on the situation, right? It's like there's been a war on. And the reason why I use war is because it's yeah. writing and it's arithmetic yeah. and it's reading. There's been yeah. a war on it to take it away. Yeah. So everybody can dumb down. They can dumb down the children and they not rise up to where their potential and, and well, who God's created them to be. Yeah, that's good, Donna. Amen. I'm going to look at uh, Facebook here and see what prayer requests have been have been sent. Donna's going to sing a going to sing a song uh, here. She's going to lead us in a song, and then we're going to come back and we're going to we're going to pray. But I got one more thought to leave with you before she sings, and that's the the world around us is attempting to press us into a mold that is antichrist. Mm -hmm. And this is the this is the point I think I'm getting at, and what we need to pray concerning is the world around us is attempting to press us into a mold that is antichrist. Hmm. That's why Paul said, "Be transformed by the renew be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our yeah. mind." See, the world hasn't gotten to be a better place for Christians. The world hasn't become more uh, Christian friendly. The, the world is becoming more Christian intolerant. Hmm. But here. As I, I believe this was inspired of the Lord this morning as I was writing this, but the world around us is attempting to press us into a mold that is Antichrist, mm. and the educational system, now, uh, don't take this wrong, but, I, you know, uh, I believe the educational system is being hijacked, has been hijacked for many war. years yeah. now, for the purpose mm. of pressing, a, pressing a children, young minds, into uh, that which is not godly. Uh, you know, even in communist countries, Marxism, they believe that if you can get a child, see, they understand Proverbs 22, 6. Mm -hmm. You can get a child when they're very young, you can have them for the rest of their life. And that's why as believers, we're in a battle for the minds, the hearts, the, the, the souls of, of not just adults, but children. And even the heart of uh, the eyes and the ears of our children. Everything. Yeah, it's all. You know, so related. that this what this song talks about. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Amen. And it's our cry and our prayer today. Amen. Can we go ahead? Man, go ahead and sing that okay. song. Don't lead us in that. Open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, Lord, I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. The eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you, Lord. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord God. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. 
shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. High and lifted up, Lord. Pour out your power and love as we cry, holy, holy, holy. Holy, 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 you are holy, holy, holy. We want to be holy, holy, just like you are. Holy, 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 holy. I want to see you. Amen. Yes. Holy, holy, you alone are holy, 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 holy. I want to see you. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you. Praise God. That's good. We want to be holy, holy, holy unto the Lord. Amen. Yes. It says, be holy for I am holy, says the Lord. Yes. We have some prayer requests that have come in this morning and we'll pray over others as well. But uh, Sherry uh, says, uh, say some prayers for me. I have a neck sprain and some issues as well. So, Jesus. Father, we lift yes, up uh, Sherry to you today. Healing. God, yeah. we pray that there be healing in yes, her neck. God. Yes, Lord, God. give her free movement Thank you, in her neck touch, that, God, touch. she can do the things that she needs to do today and yes, just get Lord, back God. to enjoying what she, uh, enjoying things that she yeah. enjoys doing. Yes, Lord, Lord, we lift up Brenda to you. She says unspoken uh, prayer requests. So, Father, we lift up Brandy to you, or Brenda you know. to you. Oh, and, Father, you know the need. So, God, we pray that God, in I just uh, feel impressed to pray for her Brenda. family. Lord, we lift up Brenda's family. Yes, we ask God yes, that Lord. there be a spirit of harmony yeah. and unity, cooperation yeah. in the yes, spirit, co cooperation just amongst themselves, that, Lord, they would just uh, get along and enjoy one another as yes, family amen. in Jesus' amen. name. For amen. Misty, she says, pray over my children. Help me suit them in the armor mm, of God. Well, we amen. just right now, we <laughs> the blood of yes, Jesus God. over all yes, of these twelve yes. over Misty's children, Give over them supernatural uh, children wisdom. here, at, at, and we're during the the yeah. uh, summer break season. But Lord, every Jesus. child that enters yeah. into the school yeah. system here in Webster County, we just mm. plead the blood of Jesus yes, over them. Over that where the, the where the blood is applied, Satan is denied. Amen. So Come Father, on. we yes, just God, believe we right now believe. that during this Thank summer, you. while they are Thank off you. and 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 doing the things that their their family enjoys mm -hmm. doing, pray God your protection over them. That God, no harm will come to them. That Father, they will be protected and suited up with the, in the righteousness of God, in the armor of God, so good. that Thank they you, may God. be able to yes. withstand the enemy when yes. he attacks. And we pray that over your family too. Yes, yes. That all your children Amen. are taught of the Lord, and great is their peace. Amen. That yeah. they be suited up. I love that. It's beautiful. Suited up in the armor, the full armor of God. We said that we got to put on the full armor of God. Melissa says to pray for uh, yes. Cassie. Uh, well, yes, we lift Jesus. up Cassie right as now, she's preparing Cassie. for this appointment yes, at Lord. the uh, uh, Cincinnati Children's. Uh, yes, God. Uh, I don't see the rest of that, but uh, yes, Cincinnati Lord. Children's. Well, we just lift up yes, Cassie Lord. right now. Yes, God. Uh, we pray that you prepare the way. Yeah. Holy Spirit, we pray that uh, yeah. even now, even now, Jehovah yes. Rapha, the Lord who heals. Yes, Jesus. We pray that you would Thank touch you. her body. Yeah. Lord, bring a healing and a yeah. cure to her body. Yes, Lord. We take authority over infirmity, over sickness, yeah. over dis-ease. In, in, the fear, fear in the name of yes, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fear. You are a liar. That's right. You are a liar, yes. devil. So we Thank take you, authority over that spirit yes. of fear and we release the yes. peace of God. Thank you, Lord. The peace of God. Yes, God. In Jesus. And name. I hear that scripture in Psalms that says, My heart is fixed. fixed. Yes. Trusting Amen. in the Lord. Amen. I'm not sure of the, the right place where it's at, but I know it's in Psalms. Yeah. Look that up and that will help you. That's right. My Amen. heart is fixed. 
trusting Trusting in the Lord. Lord. Now we know that that means my Mm -hmm. heart is determined. My heart is steadfast for the things of God. But you know what? If we get a, we get a revelation of the healing power of God. Yeah. We can take that passage and say, you know what? My heart is fixed trusting in the Lord. So not only am I steadfast, I'm steady, but I, my heart is fixed. Whatever is ailing my heart yeah, is yeah. healed in Jesus' yes, name. Lord. And we believe that uh, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals, is still Thank a you. healing God today. Yes, God. Uh, lift up Elaine. She uh, yes, is Lord. just uh, requesting prayer. So, Father, we lift up Elaine to you. Yes, Pray that God, you, uh, you know the specifics of the need that she has. Yes. So, Father, we just lay... Elaine's a request at your feet. Yes, and Father. we just pray, God, that you, you would be exalted. Yes. You would be, be seen high and lifted yes. up. Lord, when you answer yes. that prayer that she's uh, crying out for, yes. God, I thank you that she'll be quick to give you praise for the Hallelujah. answer in Jesus' yes, name. Lord. For thank some you. others that have responded in different ways, Karina, uh, uh, Sherry, uh, different ones have responded. So we pray for Karina. I believe Karina yes, is God. still in... Uh, uh, is it Egypt or um, um, she does mission work in uh, in Italy Greece. and in Greece? Yeah. Greece, that's it. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think Karina's in Greece yes, right God. now. So, Father, we Touch lift up Lord. Karina. Thank you for the Touch finances Lord. coming in to yes, support the mission that she uh, is on, and yes, this is her. Uh, this is her reoccurring mission mm-hmm. uh, that she goes on and yes, uh, pray that the finances will be there that yeah. as she's ministering to children, that the yes, supplies God. come in as they're yeah. ministering to prostitutes and yeah, uh, the- women that are living on the street. Yes, Thank God. you, Father, for giving them wisdom and discernment, yes. wisdom and discernment yes, in God. Jesus name so and that they know exactly yeah. what to do for these ladies and for these children. And also for Addison as she has Yes. Uh, taking uh, these missions. She's taking yeah. these trips coming up. Father, we mm-hmm. thank you yeah. for supernatural provision, yeah. increase in her spirit, her soul, and her body. Yeah. Lord, that she's ready and able to do all the things you've called her to do. Amen. And uh, we thank you for it in Jesus' name. I'm going to close with this uh, yeah. with this prayer. And if you would, just uh, just agree with us in prayer over this. Father God, Father God, give us godly give administrators, us godly administrators that will protect, pro- protect the free expression that will protect the free expression of our Christian faith. Our Christian faith. We ask, we ask that you empower, you empower teachers, teachers and counselors, counselors, office personnel, office personnel maintenance, personnel, maintenance personnel, kitchen staff, kitchen staff, janitors, janitors, with the grace, with the grace to be an be example a, of Christ. An example of Christ. And the righteous living you've called us to. And the righteous living you've May called us to. May every student that enters the doors. May every student enter of the doors school of our system school systems. Experience, experience the love of Jesus. The love of Jesus. And be shielded from and perversion. Be shielded from perversion. We pray that every doorway. We pray that every doorway be secure, be secure. Not only by man's natural means. Not only by man's natural of means of protection. But also, but also by your spirit. By your spirit. Thank you for angelic protection. Thank you for angelic protection. That keeps watch over every child. Keeps watch over every child. In every classroom. In every classroom. And right now, yes. while they're on vacation. Yes, God. Right pray now, Pray that your protection vacation, be upon each one of them now. them now. We declare, yes, we declare that bullying has no place. That bullying has no place in our school system. In our school system. And we further declare, we further declare our schools will be our safe. Schools will be safe places. Safe places from drugs, from drugs, alcohol, alcohol, and physical, physical, sexual, mental, sexual, mental, or emotional, or emotional abuse. abuse. We ask that hidden we ask things, that hidden things that are done in darkness, that are done in darkness, will be, be exposed, will be exposed, and brought to light, brought to light. Bring, Lord, bring light. Lord, bring light to anyone, to anyone, with, of anyone. Of anyone with evil intentions, with evil intentions and that justice, and that justice will be experienced will be swiftly. Experienced swiftly. Thank, you, Lord, Thank you, Lord, for every student. For every student, may they have an environment conducive. May they have an environment conducive for learning, for learning without distraction, without distraction, and be able to focus on learning. Be able to focus on the learning basics. The basics they'll need. They need to move on. To move on one day. One day to the next season. <laughs> to the next of their season lives, of their lives. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Amen. Well, yes. uh, that be our, our prayer today. Mm. And thank you for joining us. Yes. We pray that uh, that on this, uh, this is a, a Sabbath day unto the Lord. Uh, we actually, Shabbat, uh, <laughs> Shabbat we, we actually uh, honor the Sabbath on Sunday as Christians. Mm-hmm. But uh, because that's the day that the Lord resurrected. 
But, every, uh, day you know, every, today, <laughs> every day is the Lord's Day. Every day is the holy, Lord's right? Day. But we still honor yes. the Lord's Day on Sunday yes. and keep his house, uh, keep it, keep to his house and uh, attend. So wherever you're attending church, be faithful. Amen. Be yeah. faithful. Amen. Yeah. Be faithful to the house of God. Yes. Be faithful. Find you a pastor that mm. uh, that loves the sheep, that tends the sheep, protects the sheep but with prayer and the word. And uh, we pray God's blessing upon you. Yes. Shalom. Thank in you. Jesus name. Yes. Amen. Amen.